Hey everyone, so I'm just kind of making some like videos here on what could be happening this summer for the Ninjago 2015 summer, like waves and sets and the season of course. And because they're honestly, this the the season's now airing on TV. The sets came out, so I mean there's not really any stuff to um be announcing right now except to wonder what will happen this summer. Because if you have or have not yet um, watch the tournament season, the whole thing, or if you're watching it now, um, yeah, so, I mean, you could have seen them on YouTube, or you could have seen them when they released On Demand and on Cart on Watch Cartoon Network on the app, but, or on the, um, website, you could watch the episodes then, but not anymore, not anymore, they, they did it off because they're now airing them on the TV, but I'm just doing a few questions here because now we're just kind of waiting for the summer. Um, the season's now airing, the sets are out, so the tournament's kicking in here, and when the, the tournament season ends, in a few weeks actually, because they're airing the last five episodes in one week, so once it ends, we're basically going, basically going to be sitting here wait, waiting and wondering what will happen this, um, this ghost season coming this summer. So, Screamers. Now, we've seen the name of these from the box, I think from a few videos and stuff like that. And in the minifigure description, or the keychain minifigure description for the tournament figures, they accidentally put in fight off or fend off screamers and ghosts and stuff like that in the description. I don't know if they meant to put that in there or they screwed up, but I, I don't know if it's still in the descriptions there, but um, I know it was in the Lego shop. And. So their name Screamers. So there's got a, there's a few sources where you can um, officially name that and see them. But okay, so these are Screamers. They're like ghost green blob looking things, and they they look like they got hands, sort of like a minifigure, but they just kind of look like a a green blob of goo, and they got a face. <laughs> Not much to them honestly, but they're they're just a transparent um little figure. I don't know if it's a figure. I don't know if you could consider that a figure. It's got its face and it's got arms, but I don't know if it would be considered a figure. Um, I don't, I would say probably not, but I think Lego might be considering it a figure. I don't know. There's obviously different faces for some of them, so it's like some, you could like sort of collect these guys, I suppose, but it's a very cool looking mold on these guys. So, you know, uh, it looks like this is the same mold for each one, but different face printings on them. And, yeah, so they're just a transparent green, you know, and then you could put whatever you want in their hands. You can probably hold them from the back and um, fly them around because it looks like they they fly around like a ghost. So those look pretty cool. The, the, that one's holding like an axe, I think, there, and one's holding um, TNT or dynamite. And, yeah, so, I mean, that's... Um, pretty interesting too so you could just put anything in your hands that in their hands and they can attack the ninja or attack whoever you want them to attack so again different face printings and yeah so they're just like a transparent green and they look really cool they got like a lot of green they got light green for the glow in the dark on um, pieces and stuff for some sets in the summer wave so you really don't, I honestly don't think we see many glow in the dark pieces in Lego sets altogether. So this is very, very cool with tons of glow in the dark pieces in these sets. So, especially like the Moro Dragon. That one's going to have a lot. But, but yeah, these guys. Yes, so they look like that. You know, they got the transparent and all that. And, yeah. So it kind of looks like a simple little figure sort of thing. You know, it's not like a buildable figure, but it's just kind of like a... Something might you would have in a set like like a dog, or a cat in some Lego sets, and, and something like that, you know, just like a one piece kind of character sort of thing. So yeah, and now for the show, um, what role will these play? I think these um screamers will just play sort of like a little funny role, you know, because Ninjago has always got to have its little funny parts, you know. So I think some of these will they're just gonna be kind of. When the ghosts are attacking the ninja and all, you know, with the main, the main big guys that are attacking and going at the ninja. These will be little guys screaming around in the air, um, not helping anything in the fight. And they will just kind of be 
um, flying around and attacking as well, you know, not helping anything, just kind of adding to the chaos. So I think they're just little, they're just little ghost characters that are just going to be flying around and attacking, you know. I mean, the others could be flying around and attacking too, but they're going to be like the main guys, the main minifigures for the ghosts. And these are just little guys that are just, maybe, the, maybe they're sort of like, maybe they're not the funny guys, maybe they don't even talk, we don't know. I don't, I don't know if they'll talk, but maybe they're just like sort of like ghost pets or something. You know, sort of like a, a pet sort of thing for a ghost. Maybe they'll release them out and they'll attack the ninja. It's just a lot of things that they, these things could be. Um, so, yeah, I mean, these screamers could be anything. All we know is they look like creepy ghosts and they got hands. You can place things in them they, they, and they're just there. I mean, they're a ghost sort of thing, like a ghost blob. That's all we sort of know. So... But they do look very, very interesting, along with all the other ghosts, of course, with their transparent legs and ghost tails and all that. So next season looks very, very spooky and dark. Now, some may not like that, but I think it's a very, very cool theme for the um for the wave or in this in the season. Now, another question I could bring up is, will Ninjago have a season? in 2016 right before the movie because the movie is in later 2016 but will Ninjago have a movie in the beginning of 2016 before the movie so then the movie would just take over for the rest of 2016 so lots of questions lots of stuff coming for Ninjago but right now we're kind of set in the tournament time tournament season um, part of the year so we kind of just have to sit and wait it out but you know, the episodes are very, very awesome, too. You can go watch them. They're very awesome. And again, if you're getting the episodes on iTunes, they come about... The, they basically come the day after on iTunes. Um, I, I don't know if they're coming on Google Play. I don't, I don't use that, so I don't know much about that stuff. But I know they're going on iTunes. I'm getting them from there as well, so it's pretty nice. And I've been watching them on TV, but lots of stuff is coming. And what do you think? What do you think these screamers are going to be? What do you think they will be like, you know? The simple little um, character sort of thing um, just added in to sort of help the ghosts out. Or do you think they'll actually play like a pretty big role? Um, but yeah, what do you think about the screamers? Do you like what they look like? Do you, um, these characters look really cool to you? Do you, like, do you, what do you think about them? What do you think about the screamers?